SSL. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer. It was one of the first major protocols used to secure data sent between two computers, like your browser and a website. Let's say you're buying shoes online. When you enter your credit card number, SSL creates a kind of encrypted tunnel so no one can spy on that info as it travels. It scrambles the data into a secret code using what's called a symmetric key, which only the website and your browser know. But here's the thing. SSL is pretty old. And even though the lock icon on your browser still says SSL, what's actually being used today is something newer. TLS, TLS stands for Transport Layer Security. It's the modern, upgraded version of SSL. When you see a URL starting with HTTPS, that's TLS at work. It not only encrypts your messages, but it also verifies that the server you're talking to is real, not a fake website pretending to be Amazon or your bank. TLS uses a mix of symmetric and asymmetric encryption. That means it starts by using a public key to exchange a secret, then switches to faster symmetric encryption once the connection is safe. And just so you know, we're now on TLS version 1.3, which is faster and more secure than anything before. SSH, SSH stands for Secure Shell. It's what developers use when they need to remotely log into a server, like connecting to a computer in another country to run commands. Imagine a hacker trying to sniff your password while you type it into a login screen. SSH stops that. It encrypts everything. The commands, the data, even your keystrokes. SSH keys are like digital locks and keys. You install a public key on the server and your private key stays with you. If the keys match, you're in. Otherwise, no entry. That's why SSH is also used for secure file transfers using SFTP.